delete this right how do we delete it you press what click on it delete good yeah. explain it as super Wait a second. Okay. The next step we're going to want to do is press Shift A to, get, to go into getting meshes, models, and everything we need. The first mesh we'll be needing is a cylinder. As you can see we have a cylinder right here. Of course, we can't edit it out. Edit it out. And the way on how we're going to be editing it out is be go by going to the modeling right here, up here, modeling, and then changing it from here. Right now, it's selected as vertices, but we cannot use it like that. We're going to be using its faces so we can select the whole thing as one to get into the shape that it is right now. Press S to shrink and move your mouse to the size you want it to be. Of course, do it for the bottom, make it slightly bigger. And there we go. That's the first step. The next step is to get rid of the top face so it can be hollow inside. Press X to delete and then faces. Create a little rectangle sticking out of sticking out of the out of the mesh. You want to go right here, loop cut. Press if you're on um, Mac. Press Command R to create loop cuts. Put at least two. One right here. Press Enter and then press Command R once again. Enter. The next step you want to do is go back to faces right here and select the amount of faces you want to be extruded. So select two right in front of here, press E and extrude by moving the mouse forward. Keep on doing it again for the sides. Keep it even. One, two, three. Right here. Extrude. Then again on the other side. One, two, three. Keep two. Keeping it all even. <laughs> Next step you're going to want to do is go down to the face right here. And you, what you're going to do is press E to extrude, press S to shrink, and instead of extruding outwards, it will extrude as sides right here. And of course, to create that hollowness inside, you want to press X to delete and faces. Now, to add the little Stand, stand. It's on little pieces. It's standing on. Select the faces that you want to use. Select two here. Select two here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll make it a little more even. And the bottom one right here. Ex press E and extrude it downwards. Got it. I made a mistake. If you make a mistake, what you want to do is press Control Z and it'll set you back where you were. Let's try to make this a bit more better. So press right here, right here, and then do the same thing. If you make any mistakes, just press Control Z and you'll, it'll go back to the last step you did. So now that we have all the faces selected, press E to extrude and go down. So far looking like the object we're supposed to make, but it is a bit thin. It isn't doesn't have really too much of a, a shape inside, so in order to 
to thicken it up, we will need over here modifiers right here with the little um, tool. Press add modifier, go to solidify, and increase the thickness from to a positive right here to make it a bit more thicker inside right there. You can do this however you want and put it at 0 0.06 and then press apply. To create the top layer that it's with, you want to go back to, to layout right here and add a new object. Shift A, add in the torus. The torus is a bit too big, so what you're going to want to do is increase the major radius. This is not the shape, but this is to increase its size right here. So shrink it to a fit in, and then increase the minor radius so it can be a bit more thicker on the Z axis. Now to move it out of where it is right now, press G and then Z for it can be moving on the Z axis right there. The next step you want to do is to delete the bottom half so it could be half empty. So in edit mode, which you press tab, you see up here, edit mode, you can select your faces but it will take a while to just select all of them one at a one so select one press control at the next phase and i'll select all of them at the same time so go all the way around control 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 and another fast way to do it is press c and it will create this little circle and you'll be able to select as many as you can Select all the bottom. And to check if you have all the, the faces, press Z. And then you can go to look dev or wireframe. Go to wireframe and check if all the faces are selected. If it's yellow, select it. If it's gray, it's not. So right down here, press C and select it all. And the ones you don't want selected, like up here, press shift and it'll deselect it all. See, there's some missing here, so press C again and select it all. Go back to solid view, and then you'll be able to see that all the faces are selected. To delete all of this, press X and then faces, and there, it's all gone. We're also missing down here, so C again, select it all, right click. Press X and then faces. All gone. Delete all this. Make sure this is not selected. Press Shift and then it'll deselect. To select something, you press left click. As you can see, this is all curving down, so to make it go up the way it is like right here we don't want to go from faces to edge select so from there you can select the tier press control and select it all the way around now press g press z and you'll be able to move it up Of course, you want to do it for the auto ring, so do this again, making it a bit more evenish. Fix the original layer we're working on. upwards and we're done with this and the same way we taken this up we're also gonna do the same go to modifier 
solidify and go to a pot go to at least 0 0.4 and press apply the object right here is, has a very low resolution As you can see it's very what is it uh, very rough I would say it's a decent example so to make it more smoother we're gonna go to add modifier subdivide subdivision surface click on that put two and then shade smooth by click, clicking on the object making sure it's yellow and then right clicking shade smooth so it's all smoother it's a little bit too far from the object so we're going to be moving it downwards by pressing G Z and then moving it a bit more closer now it's a bit a lot smaller than it's supposed to be that compared to the image so we're going to be pressing S and making it slightly bigger there you go. Next step we're gonna do is press Shift A and get ourselves so curve a path. For using curved paths, but you can use something else if you want. Now down here in the context, this is where we can be able to change the shape of it and making it a bit more thicker. So right here, we could extrude it, and we could actually see it, and it becomes a 3D mesh. Now to change the actual geometry and shape of it, we're going to be going to the tab, to edit mode, pressing tab, and from these little, from these right here, you can change the location of it. So by pressing G, Z, you're pulling it upwards. We're going to be having it connect to the little the half the donor here. Anything about that? About the thing he was showing us, the PowerPoint. No, I don't know. Now you're gonna adjust it all the way, curving it to the donut. By pressing what I just did right now is just G X, and I'll make it go this way. Eventually you won't be able to curve it that much, so the next thing you want to do is press E for extrude. Now add an extra line right here. So press Z, press G again, and then press X to move it a bit more closer. Press Z again, press E, and then make it go down. As you can see there's some of the um, of the no of the path going in the object so you could add so you can select the parts you want press select it all press x and delete vertices sorry did wrong x segments there we go now it's no longer in there now we're gonna create the last part an easier shortcut is just to press shift D and you get a copy made of it. So G X, move it over here, press R to rotate on the Y axis and move it to where you want it to be. Go back to edit mode and delete the these segments you do not need. Okay, vertices. And then adjust it where you want it. You see, the little paths are a bit too small, thin, so we're going to extrude it a bit more. So that's 0 0.03. Same thing for this one. 
Yeah. Want to be too flat, so we're gonna put in a bit of depth. Make this into 0.03. You'd also type it in 0.03, and there we go. You can always change it however you want. You can change to 0 0.04. You can go all the way. You do this. 0 0.09. It's nice. Right. I'll be right back. Okay. A little bit sticking on some of the lead. Or actually move it upwards. There it goes. Now it's no longer be seen. There we go. That's all you gotta do. Hopefully this was good. Mister, can I see this? Surprise! Surprise! Finished! Can I see the video? Does it work? Hold on. <laughs> Call this um, uh, uh, apps. Let's call it shapes. Shape, um, what's it called? It's a shape of uh, blender.